Last week at Whole Foods, I watched someone spend $47 on what looked like three tomatoes in a bag of lettuce. When I buy organic strawberries, they cost literally double the regular ones. Americans spent $52 billion on organic food last year. That's a billion with a B. But here's the question that's been bugging me. Are we actually getting healthier food? Or are we just paying a premium for dirt that has better marketing? Hello, Internet. Welcome to Modern Grower, where we dig through the science to find the truth about your food. Look, I get it. When I see organic on a label, something lights up in my brain and says, That's the healthy one. It just feels better, right? Cleaner, pure, like it was grown by monks who sing to their vegetables at sunrise. But feelings aren't facts. And with organic food costing 20 to 40% more than conventional, I need to know, is this science or marketing? Today, we're investigating three critical questions. One, is organic food actually more nutritious? Two, what about those scary pesticides? Three, are people who eat organic actually healthier? Subscribe and hit the bell because we're about to separate the wheat from the chaff, organic or otherwise. Here's what doesn't add up. Organic food sales have exploded 5,000% since 1990. More than 80% of American families now buy organic products regularly. But during the same period, obesity rates have also exploded. Diabetes has skyrocketed. Chronic disease is at an all-time high. So either organic food isn't the health miracle we think it is, or we're doing something very wrong. What makes food organic anyway? Before we can answer if it's healthier, we need to understand what organic actually means. And spoiler alert, it's not what most people think. According to the USDA, organic means no synthetic pesticides, but natural pesticides are fine, no GMOs, no synthetic fertilizers, no antibiotics or growth hormones in meat, no irradiation. Notice what's not on that list. Nutrition, health benefits, vitamin content. The organic label is about how food is grown, not what's in it. So I dove into the research, and I mean really dove. I found over 200 studies comparing organic and conventional foods, meta-analysis, clinical trials, population studies spanning decades. What I found out will probably surprise you and might save you a lot of money or cost you more. It depends on what you value. Let's start with the big question. Is organic food more nutritious? In 2012, Stanford University dropped a bombshell. They analyzed 240 studies, the largest review ever conducted, comparing organic and conventional food. Their conclusion? Quote, little evidence of health benefits from organic foods. The basic nutrients, protein, fat, carbohydrates, fiber, were virtually identical. Your organic carrot has the same amount of vitamin A as a conventional carrot. That expensive organic chicken breast, the same protein as a regular one. But wait, before you storm off and get a refund from Whole Foods, there's more to the story. A 2014 meta-analysis in the British Journal of Nutrition found something interesting. While basic nutrients were similar, organic crops had, one, 18 to 69 percent higher concentrations of antioxidants, two, 48 percent lower levels of cadmium, a toxic heavy metal, and three, higher omega-3 fatty acids in organic meat and dairy. So organic food isn't more nutritious in the way most people think. It doesn't have more vitamins, but it might have more other beneficial compounds. Think of it like this. A Honda and a Tesla will both get you to work, but one has some extra features. Now for what really scares people. Pesticides. Here's where organic has a clear advantage. 
multiple studies confirmed organic produce has 30% lower pesticide residues. When pesticides are found, their levels are 10 times lower. Organic meat is less likely to contain antibiotic-resistant bacteria. But here's the plot twist nobody talks about. Organic food doesn't mean pesticide-free. Organic farms can use natural pesticides like copper sulfate, pyrethrin, and rotenone. Some of these are more toxic than synthetic alternatives. A Berkeley scientist calculated that organic pesticides sometimes require high doses to be effective, potentially making them more harmful than synthetics. Nature doesn't automatically mean safe. Remember, arsenic is natural too. The real question isn't, are there pesticides? But are the levels dangerous? The EPA sets safety limits 100 to 1,000 times lower than levels shown to cause harm. Even conventional produce rarely exceeds 1% of these limits. It's like worrying about drowning in a puddle. Okay, but what about actual health? Are people who eat organic healthier? This is where it gets really interesting and really complicated. Several large observational studies have found organic eaters have 25% lower risk of certain cancers, especially non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, lower rates of obesity, reduced risk of metabolic syndrome, lower pesticide metabolites in their urine, obviously. Sounds great, right? Case closed. Not so fast. Here's the massive problem with these studies. People who buy organic are weird, and I mean that in the best way. Organic consumers tend to exercise more, smoke less, eat more fruits and vegetables overall, have higher incomes, and be more health conscious in general. So when we see organic eaters are healthier, is it the organic food, or is it because they're the type of people who do yoga, meditate, and actually read nutrition labels. To really know if organic food makes you healthier, we need clinical trials. Take two identical groups, feed one organic and one conventional, and see what happens. Problem, almost nobody's done this long term. The few short-term trials that exist show Switching to organic reduces pesticide metabolites within days. Some markers of inflammation may improve, but no clear differences in actual health outcomes. Why so few trials? They're expensive, difficult, and take years. Plus, you can't exactly blind people to whether they're eating organic. The receipt gives it away. So here's what the science actually says. Lower in pesticide residues, check. Lower in antibiotic-resistant bacteria, check. Slightly higher in certain antioxidants, check. Better for the environment, usually, check. What organic food isn't? Dramatically more nutritious. Pesticide-free. A guarantee of better health. A replacement for eating more fruits and vegetables. The biggest irony, the best thing you can do for your health is eat more fruits and vegetables, period, organic or not. Only 10% of Americans eat enough produce. If organic prices prevent you from buying fruits and vegetables, you're worse off than eating conventional. Think of it this way. The health differences between eating conventional produce and no produce is massive. The difference between conventional and organic, marginal at best. So is it worth it? That depends on your priorities. Buy organic if you can afford it without reducing overall produce consumption. You're particularly concerned about pesticide exposure you care about the environmental impact, you're pregnant or feeding young children. After all, they're more sensitive to chemicals. Skip organic if the price means you'll buy less produce overall, 
you're on a tight budget, you wash your produce well, which removes most of the residues anyway. The Dirty Dozen Strategy If you want to be strategic, focus organic purchases on the Dirty Dozen. Produce with the highest pesticide residues. Strawberries, spinach, peaches, nectarines, grapes, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, potatoes, bell peppers, apples. And save money on the clean 15. Produce with the lowest residue, even when conventional. The final verdict. Are we paying extra for expensive dirt? Sometimes, yes. Is organic food healthier? Marginally. But the difference is much smaller than the price gap suggests. The uncomfortable truth, the marketing, has outpaced the science. Organic food has real benefits, but they're subtle, not revolutionary. It's not a magic bullet for health. You know what is magical? Eating actual vegetables instead of processed food. Organic or not. But hey, maybe the question isn't whether organic food is worth the money. Maybe it's whether we're focusing on the wrong things entirely while missing the basics. But that's just a thought and something for modern growers to think about. And before you spend your whole paycheck at Whole Foods, remember, are you actually buying something healthier or are you buying into really good marketing? Remember to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.